covering the Treasure Coast now. A Port St. Lucie arcade accused of actually running an illegal gambling operation is now out of business. Andrew Rozier has new developments and spoke with a customer who was there when detectives raided the place. One hundred and forty. That's about how many machines officials believe they will seize from the Rio Arcade in St. Lucie County on US-1. Detectives with the St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office conducted an eight-month investigation into illegal gambling at the business. And Thursday morning, they executed a search warrant. Vivian Perez was inside when deputies arrived. They raided the place and um, thank God, you know, I wasn't playing at the time, so they let us go. But there's a lot of elderly in there that were playing that are getting arrested and it's sad because this is all they have to do in this town. There's nothing else. This customer only had good things to say about the business. I go in there, walk in with 200 bucks and walk out with a thousand, you know, so I think that I think that these types of little mom and top places should stay as long as they're abiding by the rules. Sheriff Kim Mascara says since the creation of the Florida Gaming Commission, they have attempted to educate the arcade owners in the county that they were violating Florida law. We get numerous calls uh, every day from family members that said, my father went to an arcade and lost his social security. These are unregulated and they're illegal. Today is the first step of addressing this illegal gambling here in St. Lucie County. And the sheriff says the 30 or 40 or so people who are here playing the games when they arrive will have a court appearance to make. Um, he says this case is an ongoing investigation. In Port St. Lucie, Angela Rosier, WPBF 25 News.